The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength, and now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose in. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for Mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend! Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone. Starting with you, Granddad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet. All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash.
What do you want? Looking for a saboteur from the gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, right, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Escape that way. He must have jumped, fell all the way to ground level. You, lucky escape. It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down, and keep out of the way of security. There's no obvious reason why this droid isn't working. An elevator to the floor below. Hey! What are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator! Your weight set the alarm off! And I can't concentrate with all that noise! The old guy's right, you moron. That lip's designed for life machinery. Not a hulking animal like you. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. Excuse me. What now? Who 
Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city. With the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? <laughs> Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You been up there? It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. What did security want? After a saboteur. You seen anything suspicious? Only an overzealous security agent. That would be right. Best to avoid him and his bully boys. What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? It's very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum. <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard craft. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Do you buy scrap metal? I don't want to be recycled, Rob. I like the shell, really. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Rice boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Can you start that transport? How do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? It's the, uh, Knopfler Charge Reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you?
It's dark down there and hot. No buttons, just a thin slot. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. <laughs> Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But he's given me two leads, Overman and Link. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses too. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. Yes? I'd like a few answers. Yes? How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? You can get information from the Link Terminal. Just who are you, anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes? That's right. Routine inspection. Yes? Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. Routine, oh? oh that's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. Do they have to be perfect? How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump if you're desperate. Has security been in here? Yeah, they really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? 
Supervisor's orders. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. Report to the testing room immediately. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Safety inspector. Outrageous. I've not been notified. Besides, we were inspected last week. This is a random spot check. I don't care. Get out. Hey, Lamb. Are you here again? I told you to get out. See you later. really put a wrench in the works. Oh no! Production stopped! You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? The machinery looks outdated to me. It's not that old. It was only built 30 years ago. That explains why it stopped, doesn't it? Oh well, I'll pretend I didn't notice it. I'll keep this wrench. It's really useful. I've loosened the robot's shell. Want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the mutt's nuts. Excellent. My mistake, thought it was the John. It's the storeroom, for robots only. Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it.
find anything useful in the stores? No, but I found the power for the alarm system. There's a fuse box on the wall. Joey, you're brilliant. Yeah. Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very, but I'm feeling reckless. And welding is fun. Take care, Joey. search you. What for? I'm not a criminal. It's the supervisor's orders. If anything's missing, I get the blame. Hey, that tickles. Open up that coat. Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking toolbox. Blimey! Smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. By the way, that sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. A loose cable. Now that could be very useful. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. It's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder.
Excuse me. Yep. What do you want, speak up? I'm here to inspect the plant. Oh, I'm allergic to plants. They give me sores and boils. I meant the power plant. Well, what's stopping ya? Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. That's a cigarette. He's inhaling the smoke for pleasure. Get serious, Foster. Has security been through here? Yes, they have. Not a moment's peace. Did they find the sabs yet? I don't think so. Yeah. I hope they string them up. Who do these sabs represent? You what? I said, you what? Another corporation, you thick wit. Obart, our biggest rivals. You mean we're at war with them? Economically we are, and they're winning. How come? By flooding the market with gimmicky garbage. I've loosened the nut. I've loosened the nut. Try pressing the button on the right. You're in my way, Foster. Try pressing the button again. I'll have to fetch old Obin. And you better stay here in case there's an explosion. My name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. 
What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. Maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. What's the difference between grand and economy? The economy tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. What's the mystery tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. How do I know it's not a rip-off? That's the chance you have to take. Book me on the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. It doesn't matter. Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. It doesn't matter. You'll need a rad suit if you're going in there. Hey, what do you mean? This one is totally rad. I mean protective clothing. Thank you. 
Hey, lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, great. Meet me there. You're in for a treat. Hey, lamb. When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal board of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor. But it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why is this machine stopped? Stop it. I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a D-Link, and a woman. What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. What are you doing after work? What do you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great, but first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's your opinion of Lamb? I'm a dealing. I'm not entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from The Gap. So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level, though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. What's a jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. 
You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of Link's circuits and data banks. Will the jammer get me into Link space? <laughs> no, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreibman port. How do I get a Schreibman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Schreiberman port is a hole in the head. Does Link have any internal security? And they'll be foils, naturally. What are they? The intrusion foil program. Are they dangerous? Well, standard IFPs are simply deterrents. But some high-level foils can be lethal. What do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with a plan to bond his mind with Link. And ever since then, things have been getting weird. See you later. It's a computer terminal with the word link on it. Tell, I'm Mr. Cool, and you're encroaching on my personal space. Where can I get a Schriebman port? What's that? An interface which allows humans to talk to computers. Like a mouse, you mean? No, it's a surgically implanted slot. Say, I've heard of those things. They give them to perverts, don't they? Are you a pervert? Certainly not. Well, you sure look like one. 
How can I get out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city, not bodily processes. You're not making sense. But anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. Hey, Lamb! Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Cuscus do? Who's Cuscus? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? You could always get another one. It wouldn't be the same. I've had Cuscus since she was a kitten. I could feed her for you. If I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Cuscus likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. Come on, Joey.
surgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fascia. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. I want a Schriebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh, why didn't you say so before? Good grief. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that. Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Schriebman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles. What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc. I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh, no. It doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. 
In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He was cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding.
This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done.
So my real name is Robert Overman. But why does Link want me? And what's happened to my father? Seen anything of Obins? What do you want him for? To mend the pipe in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Obins all day. He's probably busy. Oh no! Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. The door has an old-fashioned lock on it. It's an old trick, but it still works. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please. I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze and the fact that it's off limits to security. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? Mm, what about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. I don't know Mrs. Piermont personally. Oh, you must have seen her with her dog. Mrs. Piermont is the one with two legs. See you later. Excuse me. Hello, darling. 
I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Would you sponsor me for the club? Oh no, I couldn't do that. Why not? As you said yourself, you're a stranger. Why? You could be a terrorist. No, no, it's out of the question. Excuse me. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. Meet me at my apartment. Oh, come to Come to Mummy Spunky. Hello. Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. You know, I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overall, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Are you going to sponsor me now? If that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Coulston? Danielle Piermont. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. It's 4.30.
full of biscuits and dog drool. Excuse me. Pivoted in the middle, like a seesaw. Ha! The trap is baited. What was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? Officer Blunt, come and help me quickly. Just for a second, you scared me. But you're only dummies. Oh no. Not her. Not Anita.
Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. 
Hmm? I haven't done that for months. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. See you later. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. Haven't you got any human friends? Of course I have. None of them will play with me, though, because I always beat them. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant Psykeyes with your flamethrower and stop Dunta Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. What other games have you got? Not many, cause they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city for Mobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game, Onan the Barbarian, and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. Dandelions? What color are they? Yellow, of course. Everyone knows that. The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Pimble, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. Know where I'd find the old subway? Nah, I've never heard of it. I thought all boys were into railways. Get real? What planet are you on? Sometimes I wonder. Don't wear out your thumbs. Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart-ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. <laughs> All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How? And why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth. If we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link Space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it, since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. 
I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Excuse me. See you later. Silence in court! Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognise that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, monstrous! Off with his head! Just a flippin' minute! Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well. Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Ah, uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Ah, uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <laughs> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway above. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Oh, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. 
Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Four interrogations suggest harassment. Objection, my lord. Officer Blunt is not the subject of this trial. Quite correct. Objection sustained. Ten points to the prosecution. No further questions, Your Honor. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont! Hello, darling. in court. What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie boo. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute... Darling, darling, everyone adores him. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance man. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize. Life imprisonment. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence.
Two hours community service. Court dismissed. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart, with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Do you know anything about a subway? I've dreamed about them. Really? First of all, I'm swimming around like... Uh... Then I get shut up this long tunnel. It's all wet and warm, you know? I was talking about a real subway. What would you do if you found a body? Go through its pockets. No, seriously. A girl I know has been murdered. It's a sign of the times. There's nothing as cheap as human life. With the exception of this club. How do you know it was murder? I only met her a few hours ago. And she was fine then. My advice is to keep quiet. You can't help her now, so look after yourself. Or you might wake up dead one morning. Never mind. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sound, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? You search but find nothing. Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? 
Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh, yes. Quite considerably. Subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits. Tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. Penetrated the outer skin. No! 
Ugh! I made a hole right through the vein! Hmm, I can't slide it, push it, or pull it. Can't reach it from here. I can't reach it from here. The cover must regulate the heat from below. It obviously opens like an iris. Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. itself at the power supply. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational. And all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, Termination is more than likely. Stay close to me, Joey. I want you to check out the tank room. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything. Especially that android. The android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. Give me a report on the tank room. The growth tanks contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. 
the temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. The tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they'd die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. That will distract the android technician. I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans one, androids nil. Save me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. Aha! Another ID card from my collection. Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento.
caused the program to crash. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft and curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh yeah, you'll get used to it. By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only my father. You never speak of him, do you? That's because I can't remember him. Can or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence. In a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man. The pictures in the campfire. He saw it too. The evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. I think you need a new name, Joey. I concur with your observation, Mr. Foster. What do you consider an appropriate sobriquet? I'm gonna call you Ken. That's wonderful news, sir. Tell me, are there any memorable Kens in history? A Ken whom I might seek to emulate? All the Kens I can think of were dorks. Splendid! It will be my mission in life to make the name Ken synonymous with dorks. How do you like your new body? It's wonderful, sir. There's just one thing. What's that? When will I be getting the accessories? I don't know what you mean. Ears, body hair, those little decorative parts. You're better off without them, believe me. Never mind. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Hey, rubber man! What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. 
Have you got an axe? No, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. That's unthinkable. Never mind. stupid thing I've ever done. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away! I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds. Long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Ken, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. What happened, Father? Link has rejected me. And without it... I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster! Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success. But the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert! You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late! It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plan, Howard. Perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly going to miss you both. Why don't you come too? we got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? 
I'm not sure about that, Ken. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. Here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Ken gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant.